Welcome to the channel, I'm Brendan Wagner, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to add a slideshow into Adobe Portfolio. Now this question was asked by Andrew Manoy. He said, do you know how I can add a slideshow into Adobe Portfolio? So today, Andre, your question is going to be answered. Now in my last video, I showed you all how to add a slider just like this for before and after photos. If you all want to go watch that video, it will be linked down below or somewhere on the screen. But today we're going to be taking a look at how we can add a slideshow just like this. Now the first thing that you want to do is go to Syncopa. Now this link will be down in the description, so if you can't find it on Google, just go ahead and click that link. So let's go there, and let me sign in real quick. Now this is what my screen looks like. Your screen may look different if you've never signed in before, but I'm currently on a trial period. And now let's just go ahead into New Gallery. Now what we can do is click on Slider, Video, and Images. And there's two that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, but the main one will be just the responsive jQuery slider. This one is if you want to do it with videos, but we're only going to be doing it with pictures. But it's the same thing. So let's go ahead and click Use This Template. Shows you a little preview of how it works. And we can just go ahead and click Next. Now we want to upload our pictures. I have three pictures of dogs right here, and we'll just click open. Let that load in, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, title these real quick. So now that I have all these titled, I have the option of rearranging the slide by just clicking right here, and it will move it down. But let's say I want this dog up here, and all done. If you want to delete, there is a trash can button right there, super easy, and now we're all done. Except if you want to add a description or add tags, this is only useful for if you want to uh, basically create a SEO optimized search. But uh, for right now, we're going to leave that blank and we might get into that into a, another video uh, if y'all really want to. But for now, let's just go ahead and click next. It'll bring us to this screen and it's all done. Now what you don't want to do is just copy and embed the code because this code right here will not work because it is in JavaScript, what we want to go ahead and do is click on Node.js support. So this is no JavaScript support. So now that it's on Node.js support for iframe, we can go ahead and copy this. I'm going to turn off SEO tools and recopy that. Let's go over to Adobe Portfolio. Let me go ahead and add a page. And we'll just call it page one. Create this page. Nothing special. Going over to embed. Let's go copy that and embed. Now we can see it is in here, but it doesn't look quite right. So since this doesn't look correct, let's go ahead and change that. Replace embed, and I'm gonna already know my sizing, so mine is 1200 by 600, and this is not in percent. Make sure that you remove the percentage and click embed. It'll redo it. If you don't want to go through that struggle, you can go back up to embed your gallery and do fix sizes and it'll do the coding for you. And this is going to be the same code just to show you all. I'll recopy it, replace code, embed, and it's the same code. So everything works now and you can publish the site and now you have a slideshow preview. Uh, if you have any further questions or comments about this or a new subject, make sure you leave it down in the description, and thank you all for watching.